Now, some parents and students are on edge this morning as they get ready for school. Safety is at the top of their minds after there were two separate shootings near bus stops in the metro. Christy Diaz joins us live from outside the Gwinnett County Detention Center where one of the suspects was taken after one of the incidents. Christy, I, I, I just can't get my head around this. Why would anyone shoot towards buses or a bus stop? It's a question we may not get an answer to. It does make you wonder what's going on with people, though. Two deliberate shootings at children headed to school. One at a bus, the other at a bus stop. Check out this picture. It clearly shows two bullet holes right in the front windshield of this school bus. Police say the woman who fired those shots is named Celeste Saunders. Now, the relief here is that neither the driver nor the four children on the bus at the time were hurt. The bus was on the way to Riverside Elementary in Suwannee, and thanks to the quick thinking of the driver, they made it there safely. But that was not the only case of shooting towards children. Atlanta police say a man fired shots at about 10 children standing at a bus stop. This one happened near Skipper Place in northwest Atlanta. Luckily, an officer was in the area looking for a man connected to a domestic violence situation nearby, and it turns out that guy, Raphael Trammell, is who they were looking for. They found him with two guns and a knife, and police fired at him when he refused to drop them. Understandably, people are outraged. Well, that's the thing got me was shooting at a school bus. My Lord. A little kid could have really gotten hurt. That would have been horrible. A lot of what ifs there. Last we know, Trammell is still in the hospital. Saunders now faces several charges, including cruelty to children and aggravated assault. Sure. All right, Christy, a lot more on this story on 11alive.com. Thank you.